How do you find the good bargains at thrift stores? The high-end designer labels that are incredibly marked down. Our thrifty D. Soisher has some really easy tips. There we go. Hi, I'm Thrifty, and on today's Thrifty Minute, I'm going to show you that you really can find brand name items at a thrift store. But do brands really matter? Thrift stores have a section that's designated for high-end items. But just remember, that's someone else's idea of value. Your ideas may differ. But I did find this anthropology top, brand new with tags, and the retail price for this blouse is $128. And I don't know about you, but I would rather pay the $14. Shopping at Nordstrom. I also found another anthropology top just in the regular area of the store marked for $4 because it does, it's not brand new with tags. But either way, it's anthropology and it's four bucks. Brand names can be found at your thrift store, but the question is, does it matter? It's totally up to you. Hey, here are today's thrifty cents. First, look in your local thrift store in their high-end designated area and see if there's anything great you can find. Second, remember what your mom told you and labels don't really matter. And third, if it looks cute on you and you like it, it's valuable. Thanks for watching today's Thrifty Minute and remember, it may not be new, but it's new to you. So you have this shirt right here. I did. So you I got an anthropology, in. and you also have a trench. Yes, a Burberry. I, I did. I found a Burberry trench coat at the Goodwill. Um, I, I hate to tell you because it's my favorite Goodwill, but it's on Bellevue and Parker Road. Okay. And they have amazing things in every Goodwill. My favorite. Well, I thought this was my favorite all-time find are these yeah. red cowboy boots, and that's Those until so I found these other red and black cowboy boots. So, so are these yours? Are these your size? Or you just snag them with Yes. No, they're no, my they're, size. They're yours. They're my, yes, they're mine. They're my size. Seven and a half, so don't try to take them from me. No, they're too big. <laughs> you know, you showed the piano, too. Yes. Do they sell pianos at the thrift stores? Absolutely. Every once in a while. they're so expensive. They're really expensive. And it's just, I think, a, a matter of getting a piano mover. So a lot of times you'll find two or three pianos in a thrift store. So you just have to look, and I'm sure they need to be tuned and, you But know. still, yes. compared to the price of a real Absolutely. piano. Absolutely, yeah. and it's nice because, you know, you're taking someone else's piano that they didn't right. have use for, and it's great. That's a huge savings, but I never knew that there was a, a, a exclusive label section in the, in the thrift stores. Well, not every thrift store has it, but uh -huh. a lot of them do. And sometimes it's locked in a case, or, but I found this on a regular rack, and okay. I found these on a regular rack. I think it's because, What's valuable to me may not be valuable to you. You mm. might not be interested in what I'm interested in. Yeah. I uh, know I am. <laughs> <laughs> but the people at um, the different thrift stores, the management or someone who prices things, they're picking what they think is valuable, okay. which is nice, but you know, your ideas may differ. And this is the lasting price. There's no bartering or bar bargaining or No, not really. And really um, I, I only pay, I paid $12 for this Burberry trench coat, and I've, I know, I know, it's just, I, I don't know how I do it, but I do it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for the tips, Dee. This is great. So much fun. Thanks for having me. Absolutely.